Hey everybody, it's Chris. Now, we all know that there have been some misconceptions about how the executive order pertains to us, the citizens of Queen Anne's County. And to clear up those myths from the facts, we've got Joe to help us out. So let's ask him. So firstly, I really shouldn't be outside, right Joe? So you actually can be outside. It is encouraged that you be outside, walking, biking, hiking, whatever you'd like. Just be sure to keep it less than 10 people in a group at all times. It is important to maintain your social distancing. As you can see, Chris is six feet away from me. So boating season is starting soon. That means I can take my boat out, right Joe? So recreational boating is actually not permitted during the COVID-19 pandemic. However, if you are going out for fishing purposes, like fishing for food or crabbing, that is allowed as long as it's for fishing and not recreational purposes. Now, if you would like to go out for some exercise, you're more than welcome to do so on your kayak or your paddleboard. So fishing, but what about hunting? Hunting is permitted, but it's similar to the fishing guidelines where it has to be for consumption of food and obtaining food. If you're hunting just to hunt and not necessarily to gather food, that is not permitted. All right, so I can't take my boat out. And restaurants are closed, but does that mean food trucks are closed too? So restaurants are closed. However, a lot of them are offering delivery or carryout options as well. Just call ahead and see what they offer. Now, food trucks are open. But with food trucks, you have to be careful that you're maintaining that six feet of social distancing and you're not gathering in groups larger than 10 people. Okay, got that about the restaurants. Tell us a little bit about grocery stores. Grocery stores are still open, as are pharmacies. So when you're out and about, though, make sure you're only getting essential items and things that are necessary for day-to-day -day activities. Don't overpurchase things that you don't need. And to find out more about how to grocery shop safely, visit QAC TV on Facebook or YouTube to watch our grocery shopping safe tips video. So Easter's coming up. What about gathering with my family or attending church? Family gatherings of 10 people or less are permitted. However, they are discouraged as being inside of a family home, you're not going to be able to maintain those safe social distancing practices of at least 10 feet. Now going to church, as long as your congregation is less than 10 people, you're okay. However, the governor is advising drive-through or drive-in services for church. And to find out more about the recommendations on drive-in services, check out governor.maryland.gov and search for interpretive guidance on churches. So what about people with elderly parents? Caring for an elderly parent, child, or someone with special needs is permitted as long as you are doing so at their home. It is discouraged for individuals to go out to retirement communities or nursing homes to visit an elderly parent unless it is to provide an essential need or service. So for those who are considered essential employees, do I need documentation to show I am essential? Documentation is not required for you to have if you are an essential employee. However, if your employer wishes, they can provide you with that information. It is important though, if you are given a document that proves you're an essential employee, that it includes the name and address of your employer, the name and address of you as the employee, the reasoning for your working, and a good contact number for your employer with their signature provided. So we have been receiving a lot of questions about lawn care companies and whether that is an essential business or not. Lawn care is considered under the governor's executive order an essential business, so you can still have your lawn cared for. If you want to find out more about what essential businesses are during the executive order, visit governor.maryland.gov and search for executive order and you'll see a link for essential businesses. So there's been a lot of confusion about traveling in and out of the state of Maryland. Joe, could you clear that up for us? Traveling in and out of the state of Maryland is permitted as long as it is for essential business and you are traveling to the adjacent states. If that's the case, you do not have to self-quarantine for any reason. However, if you are traveling from the New York or Jersey or that tri-state area that has been heavily impacted by COVID-19, you are required when you come back into Maryland to self-quarantine for 14 days. If you're traveling through Maryland for work or transitioning through for fuel, food, or any of the other small essential items, and you're only going to be coming in contact with people for roughly three minutes or so, then you do not have to self-quarantine for any reason. Well, thank you so much for that information, Joe, and we hope that that helps clear up some of the misconceptions about the executive order. So you stay safe out there. And as always, for accurate and up-to-date information on Queen Anne's County, follow our official social media sites.